so what is compute here compute is nothing but the calculation so it is a study of all the fields which is related to the computer here the important computer skills are classified into two types that is hardware skills as well as soft skill when i come to business field the computer plays a major role in the business sector hello to all a warm welcome to first introductory session for first pc computer science student i am revathi faculty department of computer science vidyashram pre university college mysore in today's introductory session i am going to welcome all first pc computer science students for opting computer science subject so this is a new era of computer technology so when i say it is a new era of computer technology then here we are going to have iot then we are going to have artificial intelligence robotics deep learning machine learning etc so the field of computer science it is very vast and interesting area so here the branches of computer science is going to vary before going to start the branches of computer science let me to explain what is computer first so here we all are familiar with the word computer system or computer now tell me what is computer here computer is nothing but a calculating machine the word computer is came from the latin word compute so what is compute here compute is nothing but the calculation so here a computer system is nothing but a electronic machine that accepts input from the user process all the input and produces the result to the user so producing result is nothing but the output to the user so consider the small and very familiar example that is i want to prepare a one cup of tea so to prepare one cup of tea what i required that means what are the ingredients i required here i required tea powder along with that i required sugar water and milk so what i will do i'm going to consider these ingredients as my input then what i want to do i'm going to boil these ingredients that is nothing but the processing of data after boiling what i'm going to get i'm going to get the tea so here tea is nothing but the output so i explain once again here that i want to prepare a cup of tea what are the ingredients i required generally i require tea powder sugar milk and water after that what i'm going to do i'm going to boil all these ingredients together and at the end i'm going to get the tea so here the tea powder sugar milk and water is nothing but the input and boiling is nothing but the processing and the tea is the output suppose if i translate this one into the computer system terminology then here the input is nothing but the keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse what about boiling so boiling is nothing but the processing or executing and what about output so here the output is nothing but the display media that is monitor or printer so a computer is an electronic device that 
accepts input from the user and it is going to perform all the processing that means all the execution and it is going to produce the output to the user. So here a computer system is defined as combination of components designed to process the data and store the files. That means here it combines the combination of components. So here component is nothing but the software, hardware, user and data and it is mainly designed to process. Here process is nothing but the executed data and store the data. That means store those data for the future use. So here a computer system requires hardware as well as software and the user to functionally. That means if the computer system want to function properly then it requires hardware then it requires software and user. Now we got to know what is computer. From the computer, I'm going to derive computer science. So what is computer science? Now tell me what you can able to understand by seeing this diagram. So don't think that this is Chinese language. Okay, these are the branches of computer science. So here it is a discipline of computer science that is nothing but the study of computing as well as computation. That means it includes theoretical as well as algorithmic functions. So here the computer science is a study about the algorithms. It is a study of database and it is also a study of artificial intelligence as well as robotics and it is also a study of data structure and it is also a study of computer architecture and it is also a study of human computer workstation and it is also a study of computer networks theory of computation, operating system and programming language. So when I say it is a computer science, then it is a study of all the fields like algorithms, database, network, operating system, programming language, then computer architecture. So it is a study of all the fields which is related to the computer. I repeat here computer science is nothing but the study of computing as well as the computations that means theoretical as well as fundamentals of algorithms. Here especially we are going to study data structure then algorithms databases, then we are going to have operating system, different kinds of programming language, networks, then we are going to have computer architecture. So here the computer science is a vast area. That means it provides large area. It provides large study area. When we go in depth about computer science, we are going to have different fields and different subjects. Moving further, we are going to have the important computer skills. That means once I completed my degree, suppose if I want to join any reputed company, I must require minimum knowledge about computer. So here the computer skills are classified into two types that is soft skill as well as hard skill. Suppose if I consider hard skill, then what are the things I require here? Here I require how to turn on the computer system, how to turn off the computer system, how to troubleshoot the computer system and how to connect the
that means how to establish internet connection so these are the some of the fields of hard skills suppose if i consider soft skill then what are the things i required that is i must have basic information about how to use the computer system that means how to operate the computer system how to use the social media how to use the email how to make the presentation how to prepare the documentation and how to write the code that means how to develop the software so these are the some of the important software skills so here the important computer skills are classified into two types that is hardware skills as well as soft skill so when it is soft skill that is nothing but the software skill then i must know about email social media and bloggings at the same time i must know how to use the spreadsheet and database and at the same time i must know how to troubleshoot that is information technology troubleshooting then i must have certain idea i knowledge about graphics design as well as word processing and at the same time i must have some information about software development as well as hardware development these are the some of the very important computer skills you required then we are going to have the importance of computer in our daily life so in today's class we studied what is computer what is computer science and the basic skills i required to get the job that is the basic computer skills i required then i'm going to discuss the importance of computer systems in our daily life that is first one education field nowadays education become online so all the practical as well as theoretical sessions are carried out through the online classes so here the computer plays very important role in education field and at the same time because of computer the online education become more attractive and more efficient and it also provides distance education because the seminars and all the presentations are very effectively carried out by the help of computer system then we are going to have business when i come to business field the computer plays a major role in the business sector so all the business activities are carried out with the help of computer system if i say hospital so here the computer system plays very major role that means all the patient informations are stored in the computer system and that is used for future reference and that is mainly used for diagnosis purpose then we are going to have banking so here the computer plays very important role in the field of banking so all the transactions are carried out with the help of computer system and it supports online banking then we are going to have government office in government office all the documents are scanned and deposited inside the computer system so in government office computer system plays very important role then we are going to have home suppose if i consider my home i am going to use the computer system for entertainment purpose and it's also used for the purpose of education suppose if i consider marketing then the computer system plays very important role that means all the marketing transactions like selling or buying are carried out by using 
computer system. At the same time, we can also consider stock market. Then the computers are mainly used by the students for education purpose as well as entertainment purpose. So here the students are going to use the computer systems for their education purpose as well as for their documentation purpose and for their presentation purpose. At the same time, they are going to use the computer system for their entertainment purpose. These are the some of the importance of computer in our daily life. Moving further, we are going to have the career opportunity. So students, you may get the question after completing my PUC, which area I want to select? So once you completed your PUC, then you're going to have the options like BCA, then engineering, then you're going to have BSc. So once you done with your PUC, then you can opt BCA or you can also opt engineering and you can also opt BSc in computer science. Suppose if you opted BCA, the career is MCA. Suppose if you opted engineering, then you're going to have M Tech, then Master of Engineering. Suppose if I opted BSc in computer science, then I can able to do MS in my computer science. So when I come to the career opportunities, after completing my graduation in computer science, I can able to do any one of the job. That means once I graduated in computer science, then I can able to become a engineer that is computer science engineer or I can also able to become internet technician. At the same time, I can also able to become network administrator or network manager. And I can also able to become computer application design. And at the same time, I can also able to become hardware designer or hardware engineer and at the same time I can capable to become system engineer and I can also able to become system architect or I can also able to become tester that is software testing field and at the same time I can also able to become a web designer or web programmer and I can also able to become a communication manager. So these are the sum of the fields of computer science. At the same time, I can also able to become a lecturer or professor or assistant professor once I complete my graduate in the field of computer science. So here the computer science provides the large job opportunities for the student. So once you done with computer science, here you're going to have many opportunities. You can select any one best among these options. That means you can able to become a good programmer or you can able to become a good software tester or you can also able to become a good software developer or software architect or web designer or network manager or you can also able to become a hardware engineer. So these are the some of the career opportunities when you select computer science as your core subject. So in today's session, we started with what is computer, then we discussed what is computer science, then we discussed the skills required for the job, then we discussed the importance of computer system, then we discussed the 
career opportunities of computer system. Anyway, dear students, let's meet in my new session with some new topics regarding computer science. Dear students, anyway, let's meet in my next session with some more interesting topic. Until then, take care. Thank you.